This is HowToTrapBeavers.com. I'm Chris Pope, and in this segment, we're going to run through the basics of snaring beavers. So, to start with, it can be real easy to get bogged down, get lost in the weeds when you're looking at looking at different snares and looking through trapping supply catalogs. There's so there's different sizes of snares. There are different kinds of cable. There's all kinds of different locks. Put all that stuff out of your head. Don't worry about that. When you're beaver trapping, you want a washer lock or a relaxing lock. We're catching all our beavers. The way I trap, the way I target beavers is, I target a behind the front shoulders catch. So beavers don't have much of a neck, so it's hard. it can be hard to snare them by the neck, like the typical snare that you think of. So these relaxing locks, because you catch them behind the shoulders, you keep them alive, and that's part of your fur. That's part of your fur that you, wanna, you don't want to damage. So relaxing locks, and it's just a, a washer bent in half is all it is. When, it, when there's tension put on the snare, it tightens. But as soon as the tension is off, the washer falls back and it relaxes. So if the beaver's pulling, it's tightening. But if the beaver stops pulling, it relaxes. So that can reduce your fur damage. Then you've got, and for beaver snares, a 48 inch, four foot or five foot snare is a, is a good size. You, you don't have to get caught up in the snare sizes. 48 inches is a good size. I like to have a swivel on the end. I think that's, that's crucial. Beavers, they're gonna really try that snare. Any animal's gonna try a snare. So I think it's crucial to have a swivel on the end. And this is 3 seconds inch cable. So you're looking at three, 48 inches, 48 inch snares, 3 second inch cable with a relaxing lock or a washer lock. That's all you need. Um, another thing that you're gonna find on there is what's often called a whammy. It's just a, a, a support. If you place, a, if you use wire, whatever you use to support, you can, you can put it in that whammy to help hold it up. If you like that, fine. It's not, not necessary to use. The other, other crucial thing with snares is you gotta anchor them off some way. You could just put a piece of T-bar right through the snare swivel. I like, I prefer using an extension cable. So this is about six foot of 3 seconds inch cable. It's just got a loop on each end. I, if I'm making them myself, I'll use an old snare swivel on one end, just give you more swivel ability. That's always good. Snares are a one-time use deal. And once a, once a beaver gets in them, they're gonna whine and twist and they're gonna compromise that snare. Even if it looks good, you don't wanna run the risk of catching another beaver or an, another animal and losing it. Snares are a one-time use, but you know things like the lock, things like the swivel are stuff that you can keep if you like to make your own. Or Like I say, I, I like keeping the swivels for making my own extension cables because it works out really good to have an extra swivel. Then you just anchor this I, the way I've got it built with one, with one loop bigger than the other. I wrap it around the base of a tree, run the small end through the big end, tighten it down around the base of the tree, and then use one of these quick links to attach it to my to my snare swivel. Put it on there, tighten that baby back up. You might give it a little touch with pliers if you're really concerned about it. And that's good to go. Now you're ready to set your snare. So right now, we're looking at a caster mound situation. When I'm setting, I like to make a, a, a fake run if there's not already a run there, so I'll use my foot. Kick the run out. And when I set my snare, I want it to be 90 degrees at a right angle from the bank. So the steeper the bank, the steeper your angle of your snare is gonna be, but that's how the beaver's gonna come up and approach. So, and I like to set my snare right at the water's edge, you know, where there's just a little bit of water across the snare. Set it there, and then, depending on how you want to stabilize it, if you watch some of my other videos, I like using sticks. It's quick and easy. You can use wire if you want to. If you've got stiff wire, like number nine wire, you can just stick that right down in the, in the soil and put it in your whammy to help hold it in place. Um, if you use, I, well, I always carry this thinner wire, and a lot of times what I'll do if I use wire is fold it in half, crimp it on the end, and then I'll find me a, a small stick that I'll shove right beside the snare. So that's built-in fencing there. And then I'll take the wire, wrap it around, and then give it a couple of twists to make sure it's tight, because you when you, sit, when you leave that snare, you want it to be solid. You don't want it to be shaky. You want it to be solid so that the beaver doesn't have any concerns going through it. Then get the end that you crimped 
And you can either just make a U in it and place the snare in there. A lot of times what I'll do is make a W. So I'll bend it all the way back almost on itself and then bend it all the way back on itself again. Then bend it at a 90 degrees and we've got basically like an S. And then I can wrap my snare in that S and that S will help, help hold it in place. You're looking at a 9 to 10 inch loop and I use my hands for that. I know that's about 9 inches so I stick that in there as a quick gauge and I like for my my uh, my lock to be at 12 o'clock right on top ready to go and that's all there is to it you can watch some of my other videos I've got another snaring video making a catch there's a lot of different ways to do it don't get bogged down in in all the different complication complicated things that can be associated with snares you know one of the easiest ways to learn is to do it yourself take some of these take some of these tricks that I've showed you mold them Use them how works best for you and, uh, and start catching beavers.